This is my response to the question from DEFCON 5, and he's referring, I presume he, could be a she, uh, is referring to the gang rape murder in India and my reaction to the initial reaction that happened in India. First of all, uh, you know, there are several reactions. The immediate reaction is a deep sense of sorrow, a deep sense of grief, a deep sense of shame for our collective humanity and particularly for men because uh, when's the last time you heard of uh, women being accused of gang rape? I'm sure it happens, but you know, we see gang rape every day in our society. So my first um, uh, reaction is, as I said, sorrow and grief and shame for all of us, not just those perpetrators in India, and for all men in particular that they treat uh, uh, as a collective consciousness women in this way. Uh, my second reaction is that uh, you and I should learn from this experience not to stereotype a country or a population. Because a lot of uh, people in the world have this stereotypical idea that India is a spiritual country. Um, why is India a spiritual country? Why do we have this idea? You know, a country that has 300 million people living in abject poverty, uh, a country where there is domestic violence of great degree, a country that cannot afford to uh, feed its children but makes nuclear bombs. Um, I think we should question our um, romantic ideas about uh, a few luminaries. Having said that India is not a spiritual country, I have to say that India is also the birth of luminaries like Adi Shankara, like Buddha, like the sages of the Upanishads who gave us the knowledge of Vedanta and of consciousness as the fundamental ground of creation and uh, which is now finding relevance in every part of the world including my quantum mechanics interpretation of it and that of many other physicists uh, also. So, wrong to stereotype any culture or civilization. We think of ancient Greece, the cradle of Western civilization. But remember, you know, uh, Greeks um, had slavery. Greeks um, also participated in barbaric uh, games and threw people to the lions, so something they and the Romans did as well. Uh, Greeks were very, very uh, anti-feminist, even though they worshipped uh, you know, feminine archetypes as the goddesses. So please do not stereotype a country or a population because we have all kinds of people in all societies. Just driving here this morning um, in a car coming to do this interview, on the news I heard uh, stories of rape, murder, pillage, robbery, and on and on. It's part of our life. We live in a society that is obsessed uh, with almost uh, psychotic levels of violence and uh, we take it as normal and this is actually testimony to our psychosis that what we call normal is actually the collective psychosis of our society. The reaction in India was very good because for the first time the youth showed up, a new generation and they said we're not going to tolerate this anymore and that gives me a lot of hope that the new generation will finally um, free us from the shackles of ethnocentric, racist, uh, bigoted, sexist thinking and behavior. So it's a very sad uh, story, it's a great tragedy and if you don't learn from this or the shooting in Newtown, Connecticut then then we are doomed as a species.